Hey guys, Video James, and today we're going to be looking at how to use Latios and Mega Latios. Now, I'm not someone who uses Legends a lot. I honestly don't really see the appeal to Legends, just because they seem more overpowered than they need to be, and I'm more of a casual competitive player, that I'll still make competitive sets to actually probably get me a few wins, but I won't actually build complete competitive to counter every strategy that I'll just build competitive sets that I like to have fun, you know? And for me, Legends kind of diminish the whole fun aspect of Pokemon because it's basically like a one-hit KO with almost any Legend that you give it enough power and it's like, okay, wham, you did. And while it is possible to KO some Legends without having a Legendary Pokemon, it still takes a lot of power and sometimes, honestly, more of the time, a lot of stall. But anyway, we're going to be looking at how to use Latios and Mega Latios today. And Latios, Dragon Psychic, I think it was Latios and Latios were the only two Dragon Psychics to exist, actually. I'm not sure there actually was another Dragon Psychic. Because Rayquaza was Dragon and Flying... The Sinnoh Dragons weren't Psychic. There was no Dragon in Unova that was Psychic. Zygarde is Dragon Ground. So, yeah, Latios is the only Dragon Psychic besides Latios. That is something I did not realize till today. Nice. And when we look at that, we see that it gives us a weakness to Ice and Dragon, as all Dragon types have. As well as now the weakness to fight Fairy. Why did I say Fighting? Since we're in... Sun and Moon, 7th Gen, but we also get that added weakness to Bug, Ghost, and Dark from having the Psychic Typing. So that kind of diminishes Latios a little bit, makes him a little bit easier to take down, which is good, because Legends do need a way to take down. And then we see in Latios' move pool, we got stuff like Memento, Helping Hand, Psy Wave, Heal Block, which I actually used to get really mad at, because when I tried to catch Giratina... In Diamond and Pearl, it kept using heal blocks, so I couldn't heal, and it kept killing me. And I'm like, dude, stop it! And then we see he actually has Dragon Dance. Not something I would expect on a Latios, but okay. You know, Dragon Dance, not that bad. You still see some use for that, man's. Stored Power, again, useful, because the Latios does have a lot of stat-raising moves. Heal Pulse, Dragon Breath. Honestly, I like Dragon Pulse better, but lucky for me, he does get that at level 56. His signature, Luster Purge, he actually gets Recover as a level up ability, or move. Zen Headbutt, and Psychic. And then we see in the TMs, we got Dragon Claw, Psyshock, Calm Mind, and to Toxic. The four great moves right off the bat. And then we see, we got stuff like Ice Beam, Protect, Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball. Uh, we got Aerial Ace, we got Energy Ball, actually, which surprised me, because a lot of Pokemon actually lost their capability to learn Energy Ball in Sun and Moon, which kind of disappointed me. Honestly, Sun and Moon seems like it took away from a lot of players, and it took away from a lot of the fun aspects of Pokemon. It kind of focused on more of the grinding and the skilling up. And we see we got stuff like Shadow Claw, Thunder Wave, Psych Up, actually. And Psych Up has done some massive things that I've seen... There was one time I saw a combo, and it was, I think, uh, Evo Boost with a Sylveon? No, Evo Boost with an Espeon Psych Up. That Espeon copied the Evo Boost. So it was like, oh god, now there's two of them. And what's worse is every Evolution has access to Baton Pass. And then we see Substitute, Dream Eater, Waterfall. Surprisingly, I wouldn't think that Latios and Latios would get water moves, much less HM moves. And then we see Draco Meteor, one of the most broken Dragon-type moves in the game before it got that loser buff, or loser nerf. And then we see transfer moves, we got stuff like Hone Claws, we've got Dive, we got Icy Wind, we have Outrage, actually, very good move. We have Trick, awesome for Choice Scarf, Shockwave, again, okay. We see Defog, and that pretty much ends at the usefulness of his transfer moves. I think basically everything got Mimic in Fire Red and Leaf Green. What didn't get Mimic? 
I don't know, I think everything's able to get Mimic in Fire Red and Leaf Green. But then we see Latios' stats, just absolute sweeping material. So that we got 110 in the speed, 110 in the special offense, 130 in the special attack, 90 in the attack, 80 in the defense, and then 80 in the HP. So, Latios is actually reaching 600, which is nice. Because usually the small legendaries only reach about 500. And then Latios was one of the three legends to actually receive a Mega Evolution, giving him still Levitate, unfortunately. I kind of wish they changed Mega Latios' ability to something else, but Levitate, not that bad. Prevents you from being trapped by Arena Trap. I'm not sure if it prevents from Shadow Tag, though. That's something I should look into to see if Levitate stops, or is stopped, by Shadow Tag. And then we see it keeps the Dragon Psychic weakness, but it does get a major buff to every single one of its stats, I mean, you can go up into the 700 range. Then we see 130 in the attack now, making it viable, 100 in the defense, 160 in the special attack, 120 in the special defense, and 110 in the speed, making Latios just almost absolutely godly. And then going into Pokemon Showdown, we see our first set... Oh, yeah, hey. Uh, do you not want to do that? I just realized I'm doing a Latios video, and my background on Showdown currently is a Latios. And Latios. That is complete coincidence. But anyway, we see our first set is a Choice Scarf set. You know, basic sweeper, like I said, Latios has so much potential as a sweeper. And then we see that we've got Draco Meteor, Psy Shock, Memento, and Trick. And I'm going to explain Memento and Trick and Draco Meteor because honestly I don't use it that much. But with Draco Meteor and Latios' power being at 394 at max, you're going to be getting at least one one-hit KO off the Draco Meteor. And if not, two hits from Draco Meteor should end up killing something. And Latios isn't something that's going to get taken down by anything in one hit unless it's hit by like a physical dark type move or a physical or special dark type move. I think actually Greninja has a good kill rate for Latios. So unless you're running up against a Greninja, you're not really going to see much with Dark Pulse able to completely swamp a Latios. But we see Draco Meteor for that power that with Draco Meteor having 130 base power and 90 accuracy, it just becomes absolutely godly almost. And then we see Shy Shock damaging with the defense instead of the special defense, which actually makes it a lot of players' favorite psychic move. And then we have Memento, which causes the Pokemon that uses it to faint, however, which is kind of a downside to it, but it lowers the target's attack and special attack by two. So if your Latios is about to go down and you're like, okay, I don't want you to get this kill, I'm going to Memento and weaken you, then you actually end up getting a lot of stuff. Plus, if your opponent is trying to set up, then you can just Memento and switch into something that'll completely block their setup. And then we just got Trick for the same reason that we would have it on a Togekiss, just to get rid of that Choice Scarf, and put it on something like a Pukumuku or an Umbreon. That way they can't set up. And we see that with Latios' speed being at 319 with max investment not nature, that we're actually beating a Pheromosa to the speed with Choice Scarf. That with Pheromosa having 441 speed, Latios is reaching somewhere around 460 something speed. So Pheromosa, if it doesn't get the Quiver Dance, it's going to get one hit by a Draco Meteor from a Choice Scarf Latios. And then we see the next set is kind of also a sweeper, but a little less speed oriented. That is more damage oriented with the Life Orb set. Oh, wait, did I go over the... No, I didn't. Um, and the EVs for this one are special attack and speed, and like I said, you just max out the special attack. That's why I didn't go over it, because I showed you guys that already. I'm stupid. And then we just throw the rest in the HP, because that one extra point of HP sometimes can save your life. And then we see the next set, like I said, not really speed-oriented, more damage-oriented. That we've got a Life Orb with Calm Mind, Recover... Psy Shock and Dragon Pulse, that with Latios getting access to Recover, it actually makes it a lot easier to use. That we've got Recover for the heal, Calm Mind just for that setup, and then Psy Shock and Dragon Pulse for the damage. That with the Stab plus Life Orb, you're going to be getting at least a few KOs from it. Maybe not one hits, but still, decent damage. 
and then we see this one maxed out the special attack and speed again. However, this time we've got a timid nature instead of a modest nature. That with timid, it's boosting our speed to where we need to be without us having a choice scarf. So, it kind of balances out Latios to make it more even. But with Latios having only 350 speed with max investment, we're not going to be able to outspeed that Greninja, meaning we'd have to get it down in one hit. And now we see the next set is actually a setup Latios set, which can actually work out very well. That Latios has decent potential as a sweeper. That's not supposed to be a careful nature. What are you doing? Get out of here and put a bold nature on there. Anyway, we see this set, basic just setup set, that we got safeguard, prevent from status conditions, that with stuff like Pukamuku today, or stuff they're using Thunder Wave and Toxic a lot more, that safeguard is going to end up saving your life a few times. Recover just for that heal in case we take a major hit. Toxic to slowly eat them away while you're just damaging them slowly. And then just Dragon Pulse for that straight damage. That with us not having the modest, we're just going to use Dragon Pulse to try and get off as much damage as possible with as little misses just for the most damage. And then like I said, for this one's stats, HP maxed out. Defense maxed out, and then special defense is where the rest of the points go, and then you just throw on a bold nature that, with Latios having the lower defense, you kind of want to throw the nature onto it. You can throw it onto the special defense, but it doesn't really make much of a difference that with the nature being on the special defense, it really only gives it an extra, what, 30? And it does kind of balance it out a little more. But, like I said, a lot of people are going to be expecting a Latios like this to be a special tank. So, I would suggest putting a lot more investment into the defense, rather than the special defense. And then, moving on to actual Mega Latios, we see that we've got Calm Mind, Roost, Draco Meteor, and Psy Shock. And this one is basically just another sweeper set. That we've got Calm Mind, get a few power-ups, or get rid of the weakening of the Draco Meteor... Roost, get back a little bit of health, and then just Draco Meteor and Psyshock for the straight damage. That, with us having 419 base power plus the stab from Draco Meteor and the 130 base power, you're going to be getting at least one one-hit KO after a Calm Mind. Even without a Calm Mind, you'd be getting a KO. That, even a Greninja wouldn't be able to stop a Draco Meteor from this Latios. And then just Psyshock, again, damage, ignore special defense. And then for this one, the stats basically just go... Max into the special attack, max into the speed, throw on a timid, and just put on four into the HP. And then we see our last Latios and Latios set that we've got... Why did I say Latios? I don't know. That we've got Hone Claw... Wait, Hone Claws? No. Dragon Dance. No, not Hone Claw Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance. There we go. That's where it was meant to be. Okay, so now, if it works, thank you, Showdown. I would very much appreciate it if you would work. There we go. And click. There we go. So now, we see the final Latios slash Latios set is basic just Dragon Dance set. That with Latios actually having the Dragon Dance, it gives it a little bit of extra beef to it. That with Latios having the 130 base attack now and the 110 speed, we can actually boost us up with the Dragon Dance in order to be even stronger and faster than a Choice Scarf Latios and actually end up getting some decent kills off. That if we land a Dragon Claw or a Zen Headbutt, we might not only be getting a chance to flinch, but also just getting straight damage off it, plus very high amounts of power. That with Dragon Claw and Zen Headbutt both having over 80 base power, you're going to end up doing a lot of damage. And then we see just Steel Wing for a little bit of coverage to just get rid of those fairies. Get rid of the rock types and ice types, I guess. Wait, is Steel Wing still effective on rock? I don't know. I know there's something that Steel got taken off of. I think it might have been ice. Or rock. One of the two. But anyway, like I said, max invest in the attack, max invest in the speed, and throw on Jolly Nature. And just filter the rest in the HP. Now, there are a few alternative options that you could go for Latios, but they kind of got worked into the other sets, so I just didn't include them. But I'm going to go back over them real quick. That with this setup set, 
you could swap out Safeguard or Toxic for Defog. That Defog getting rid of a lot of the setups like Stealth Rock and Toxic Spikes, we actually have a lot of good use for Latios with it having such high speed that most of the setuppers have lower speeds making Latios able to counter them and get rid of their setups before they can really do any major damage. And that's going to be it for this How to Use Latios video. I really do like Latios. He is one of my favorite legends, even though I don't really use him that much. Like I said, these are probably less competitive... Well, these are more competitive sets. Because these are going to be actually what you can use against current metas. And this will actually be doing a lot of good for you. That These Latios sets are basically... While they may be mostly sweeper, they are able to handle a lot of stuff in the current meta. That's stuff like Mega Venusaur, Mega... Or not Mega. Uh, Choice Scarf, Togekiss. Uh, I think Mamoswine is actually meta now, still. So, Steel Wing on a Mamoswine, get rid of it. Yeah, so it was Rocket got off on. But anyway, I'm leaving this How to Use Latios video here. Again, if you guys have anything you want me to do a How to Use on down in the comments... Or, okay, think before I speak. If there are any Pokemon that you guys want me to do a How to Use video on, just let me know down in the comments. Go away, you stupid power button. And if you guys like this video, you can go ahead and slap the like button as always, and I will see you guys later.